Hi guys, good afternoon here in the Philippines. Mabuhay everyone. Welcome back to our live session here at the Pageant Trend and as well as Pageantology 101. So I know you guys, you are so excited to meet our, you know, special guest for, for this afternoon's live session. And of course, um, I will not uh, speak um, more than, so papakilala ko na sa inyong ating guest for tonight, for this afternoon. But before that, we are um, also live at our uh, YouTube channel. So if you're into YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever we have new uploaded videos and interview like this. And as well as if you are new to uh, Pageantology 101 Facebook page, don't forget to click the like and also follow their Instagram account, Pageantology 101, and as well as Pageant Trend. All right, so I am not alone here. I have also um, one of the you know respectable pageant bloggers and a correspondent, international correspondent. So our first um, blogger, pageant blogger, is uh, you know one of the international correspondents of Missology. So without further ado, guys, let us all welcome Amir Emir. Hi Mars. Hi Jay. Hi Mars. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you here. Narinig mo ako na maayos? Yes, very okay. clear and audible. Yeah. Audible. Okay, yeah. hi everyone. Good afternoon. We're watching here in Pageant Trend. I'm Amir Amir from Mythology. And yeah, thank you Jay for hosting this. I'm so excited. Yeah, and thank you so much uh Mars and okay, before we uh you know introduce uh, my second guest uh, pageant blogger. Ayan. So um, please don't forget to share our live session so that we can have more viewers to come. And actually, babatiin ko muna ang ating mga viewers. Ayan, we have 1,412. Wow. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and as well as for supporting Always Kisses. Ayan. Okay, so pakilala ko na sa iyong susunod na uh, pageant blogger. Okay. So she, she is one of the admin of Pageantology 101. Let us all welcome Edge Tinoria. Hi, Edge. Mabuha. Hello, mga amiga kong tunay. Of course, I'm so excited. Just ko, Lord. Actually, kagabi pang sumasabag ang Twitter fans ni Jesus De La Vine. Of course, hello, I'm Edge Tinoria. A pageantology 101. Nakaka excited, Jay and Amir. Sobra yeah. kung quick mag-share lang ako ng live. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mga Mars. Super excited. Grabe ha, sumasabog ang mm -mm. Oh, sumasabog ang ano, ang ating notifications sa Facebook page. Well, anyway, thank you so much guys for tuning in and uh, I know you are all excited to meet Kisses uh, this afternoon. So Wag mong wag yung tigilang i-share itong live session para ano para marami makapanood. Okay. So yes. let's move on to uh, 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 without further ado, let us uh, introduce our special guest for this afternoon. Uh, she is one of the top 75 candidates of Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Representing Masbate, let us all welcome Kirsten uh, Daniel Delavine. Hi, Kirsten. Yes. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. 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 Good also, this is my first interview as Miss Universe as a Miss Universe Philippines candidate, and I'm just so excited. Yeah. We're so excited yeah. for your journey. And before we, we would move forward for a, a little bit of you know knowing you more, we just like first to thank uh, all those um, your family from Aces and Queens, also for allowing you to be with us today. Of course, your mommy Andre, Sir Jerry Diaz, and to your mom who is very supportive of you. Hi, Kukita, if it's watching right now. Okay, yes. Jay. Ayan. So, wag na natin patagalin. Let's start our uh, live interview session with Kisses. Okay. So, our first um, 
segment is what we call the game. Okay, so it's your turn, Amir. Yes, hi, Casey. So we are very excited to get to know more about you and your journey to the crown, Miss Universe Philippines. But before that, we would like to break the ice first and play a little game in the segment called Kisses Favorites. <laughs> the mechanics is just very simple kisses, okay? We just ask you to answer your favorites, anything, everything you like, your favorites. Okay, so explain us briefly, perhaps, and then, yeah, just explain briefly. So are you ready, Kisses? Are you I'm ready, ready. Kisses? Okay. <laughs> yes, you are ready. I hope my okay. signal is ready also. <laughs> it's okay. I think you, you have a little bit of, you know, but it's okay, it's fine. Okay, let's go on Jay for the first question. All right. Kisses, what is your favorite color? My wait long, Mars. I, uh, I wait. Color, okay. My favorite color is definitely pink, but I do have pink. other favorite colors, but pink is my most favorite one. Ayan, wow. I love also pink. Everyone loves pink. <laughs> and what is your favorite? Next, Mars. Yeah. Hobby. What's your favorite hobby? What? Uh, favorite you can hobby. You see on the screen, favorite uh, hobby. Favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is telling jokes and laughing at other people's jokes. That's the first thing that came into my mind. <laughs> okay, that was fun. How about next Mars? Your favorite, your favorite food of all time? You can check on the screen. My favorite food of all time is my father's adobo. Ah, is it chicken or pork? Pork adobo. <laughs> you love adobo. Okay. Next, Jay. How about your favorite celebrity? It could be international or local celebrity. Favorite celebrity, I think that would be Taylor Swift because I love how she she just expresses herself fully and embraces herself and loves her mm -hmm. supporters. That's what I love. Okay. I love her too. Next, Jay. This one. Your favorite foreign band or favorite artist? Favorite foreign band? Yeah. Or artist? Uh, my favorite foreign band is the 1975 because I love to dance in their music. And what else? The Beatles, also one of my favorite. Oh. <laughs> it's something unique from you for a young generation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, next Mars. Jay, favorite okay. place to go with family? Your favorite place to the go beach. with family? Oh, I beach. I go to the beach with my family, as in Halos every day. We go to the beach. It's the silver lining during this pandemic that I get to enjoy the simple joys in life. Oh, very good. I love also beach. And next, Jay. There you have it. Favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory is my father likes to bring me in his tours in Masbate. So we ride a motorbike. And so there was what? one time that sobrang fresco na hangin. So sobrang fresco na hangin. I was in front of my father. He was driving the motorbike. And nakatulog ako. So sobrang fresco na hangin. So naslip ako. So oh my God. yun, nagulag yung daddy ko. <laughs> Buti, Buti di ka nahulog. I just love that memory. It's so sentimental and yeah, I <laughs> okay, I know girls love to shop, no? So what is your favorite place to shop? Fish, ano po? Shop. Shopping. Where do you go shopping? Oh, sorry. Um, I love to go to shop. Uh, dito po sa Masbate, may tinatawag po kaming Lugsada. No? It's like, if you can imagine, parang staircase siya na pababa and puro siya tindahan side by side. 
it's just that with all the shops in Manila, I miss Luxadan here in Masbate. So I have to say that's my favorite. Uh, perfect. Next, Jay, you, how about holiday? Your favorite holiday? Favorite holiday is Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas. I think I, everyone will agree that Christmas is one of the most favorite holiday of everyone. And the last one, Jay? Or put it in Valentine's Day when you already have someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love Valentine's Day, but I don't think it's meant for me. <laughs> anyway, <Hi. remember? laughs> it's okay. How about what is your favorite question you, you've asked her so far? Favorite question you have answered so far? I think the most favorite question I've been asked recently was um, what makes you happy? Because just being asked what makes you happy, you get to remember what really is it that makes you happy. And by the way, with what you said, na, na hindi applicable sa your Valentine's Day, I hope uh, that someday my experience may love from somebody. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding kisses. I love Valentine's ah. Day. I usually, I usually celebrate my Valentine's Day with my mom. <laughs> ah. Okay. That was fun, kisses. Thank you for gamely answering questions. That was just the icebreaker. Now, we'll pa, Mars, my next question. Ah, meron pa pa habol si Jay. Go, Jay. Ano yun? Naka-slideshow din siya, kisses. Okay. Hey, nakikita mo ba kisses sa screen? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Ayan. So the question is what is the most unusual fear you have? I think the most unusual fear that I have is the fear of falling in stairs. It's so unusual because stairs lang naman yun. Pero I don't know, I guess I have the fear of falling. Pero hindi naman at least in real life, the fear of falling or failing. At at least the stairs lang naman. Okay. you're wearing heels while you're walking the stairs. <laughs> All the time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, next question tayo. What's the most ridiculous argument you've had? Ridiculous? Oh, the most ridiculous argument I had was when we were in Manila and my father was telling me, Kisses, matagal tayong nasa masbate. Ito yung, kumain ka ng mga ganitong food kasi na mismo to. Sabi ko, Daddy, di pa ganito na nga yung kakainin ko? Sabi niya, hindi, hindi, dapat ganito yung kakainin mo para may energy ka, ganito, ganyan. Sabi ko, Daddy, iba nga yung food na pang energy. Iba yung food na masarap. So, mga isang oras kami nagtatalo tungkol doon. <laughs> Tapos nakakatawa. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sige, next question tayo. What movie or book character are you most similar to? Well, I read a lot of books, but I think all these characters have such diverse characteristics that I love about them. But in all characters, I think I find similarity with those girls that just goes for it and i know this general but it's it's really the characteristic that i i identify with that heroine who just goes for it all so right i think this. okay next question please all right what's the worst and best thing about uh, being celebrity Siguro best. <laughs> Marami yan. I think the best thing about being a celebrity is being able to connect to people and having the ability to connect people. That is the single best that no, no other bad thing can ever top. Because that power, that um, privilege is truly the essence of being a celebrity. And I'm so grateful and blessed that I have this opportunity to be one. Wow. All right, thank Very you. Good. Very good. And the worst, maybe, uh, the worst, but you know, it's a small price to pay. The worst is also the criticism from all those kinds of people, but 
there's a yin and a yang in everything. There's a little bad and the good, but it's worth it. Wow. wow. Thank you, Jesus, for giving, answering the questions. No? Hindi lang siya favorite, pero talagang Q&A na. Edge, mm -hmm. nagsalita si Edge, pero hindi oh. natin naririnig. <laughs> <laughs> No. They're really good questions. Ayan. Okay, anyway. Alam ko, hindi ako makakika kasi parang hindi ako mag... Oo. Oh, ano, Mars Edge. Okay na ba yung audio ko? Wait lang. Oo. Okay na, ma'am. Sobrang kasing delay dito. Ewan ko ba? Anyway, ang daming ang natin viewers ngayon nga amigo ko tunay. Dahil dyan na wala yung question ko tuloy. Anyway, ang bonus is... Sige na. Sige. Okay. Our next part of this live session is, uh, you know, we'll be asking you kisses at least five questions. So let's start with the ano na uh, muna. Pageantology 101, Ed. You can in na natin. Ayan. Uh -oh, Q &A Q &A natin. Ayan. Of course. Good afternoon sa mga fans. Actually, ang daming fans ni kisses. Meron pang kisses Hong Kong. Kisses Japan. Ang dami dami no? Talagang international. International ang dating. pang -use. A Miss Universe talaga. Kisses, um, you won um, 2016's PBB, di ba? <laughs> narinig ako. Yes, yes narinig ka. I, I haven't heard yes. the last ah, part that you said, pero ang narinig ko is you supporters. So I just want to say mm -hmm. hi to all my supporters. But also, I also want to say hi to all of you guys' as fans. Because I know pageantology... Amir, pageant fans, all have pageant fans that are so passionate. So I want to say hi to all of you. I'm Kisses Delavine, but I am Kirsten Daniel Delavine. Sobra. And I'm so thankful for watching, for, for you guys, for watching. Yes. And sobrang privilege talaga namin ni pageant. And of course, Amir, dahil siyempre ito ata ang first mong live interview sa pageant page. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes, it is. Oh, kisses. I think question ko no. So you won PBB. Oh, oh, nga ata. Talaga nga. Thank you, thank you so much for opportunity. And ah, ito yung question no. So 2016 na nalokam PBB as um one of the grand winners. So until now, kasi ang dami mo paring mga followers. So ang dami. Actually, sa Twitter palang pinos ko kahapon yung banner natin. Grabe na after 30 minutes na ka. 1,000 retweets ka agad-agad, no? So, how do you keep yourself relevant? Paano ka, oo, oh, yun. I mean, ano, ano sikreto mo, Kises, sa pagiging relevant mo, social media? I think you should be asking this question to people like Chris Aquino because these people really have, like, an idea of, of what to do in the industry to stay relevant but on the other hand me on the other hand i'm just i'm just existing over here whatever blessing that i have i just i'm thankful for it i guess that's the secret also to be thankful because great things come to grateful people and i just have to say thank you to support others good then that even though I have not accepted a lot of projects because of the pandemic, they're still there. So thank you for being with me in this journey. I will definitely make sure that it will be worth it for you. Wow. Dale. Okay, All right. Jay, kaya pa ba Edge? Kaya pa ba Edge? <laughs> <laughs> okay, na stack up si ano si. Sige, si ako na lang muna, Mars. Okay, let's move on to Amir. Okay, okay, let's move on. Now, kisses, you know, I remember when we were both guesting in Tito Boy upon the show. I told you this: join Miss Universe Philippines. And I told that because it doesn't. I, I told that because I just don't mean that you're just not. You're just beautiful. Hindi ka lang maganda. Sobrang ganda mo. I'm fascinated with your beauty and your intellectual capacity. But more than that, I saw that you have a great, great personality. You are nice, kind, friendly, and very, very humble. Now, I want to know, what was the deciding factor why you joined Miss Universe Philippines? Take us back to that moment when you finally believed, convinced, 
and decided that you really want to join Miss Universe Philippines? What was running through your mind? You know, thank you, Amir, for re re recalling what you just said to me and the Boya Bunda because that really warmed my heart to know that you have someone of your cap capabilities and of your platform to say that to me. It was such an honor. With regards to Miss Universe Philippines, I know that it's something that I will always do. I know that this is Ever since I was a little kid, I guess, I just know that this is something, this is this job is for me. I feel like I said, when you think about Miss Universe, the excitement is all about the pageant, the competition is what excites people. But really, at the end of the day, I ask myself, are you ready for this type of job? Because after you win, you are faced with all these responsibilities as a Miss Universe. So are you ready? Are you ready to give yourself? Are you ready to commit all, all of you, to expose all of yourself? How much of yourself are you willing to give? And when I thought about that, I said, I am ready for this. And I am going to give my whole heart. So that's when I decided that I, this is the time to join, especially now that we are in a pandemic and people are in a tough state. And if you have this capability, you have within yourself this capability to change that, then I, there is no reason for me not to. So that's why wow. I joined. Wow. I really, you know, the, 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 during that night, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really, I couldn't really imagine I was saying that kisses, please join, please join, you know. There's only one thing that I love you the most about you, Kisses, your personality. Aside from being beautiful, you're such a very nice girl, nice woman, <laughs> very kind, very simple, very humble. Keep it up, Kisses. Anyway, my next question would be... Yes, okay. Um, I'm here, so meet. We never met yet. So, ano lang, sa live lang ni Tito Boya Banda. Yeah, we're sa live with Tito Boy, ah, okay. so doon kami nakausap. Yeah, yeah, during that Hello. moment, okay, okay. during that moment kasi, that was the moment when Miss Universe Rabia Mateo, after ng crowding ng Miss Universe, so we talk about yung experience ah, ni Rabia. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, so doon ko siya na meet. Then I was like convincing her to join Miss Universe. Yes. Then all of a sudden I heard a lot of news that pop up na join those si cases. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was not really expecting this year. I was not really expecting this you year. Know, She's a Sally. Thank you so much because the moment I joined, you were like one of the first people who messaged me. So, wow. For you. Oh, yeah. Actually, when I heard about her joining, I messaged her mom. I told her, Mom, Tita, I want to talk to Kisses. Anyway, <laughs> and dahil na mention ko yung mom mo, I know your parents, especially your mom, is very hands-on, very supportive to your journey in the Universe Philippines. What advice is you get from your mom? Ano yung advice niya ngayon sa yung now you're joining Miss Universe? Uh -huh. Amir, when you said that uh, very supportive your mother got, I just have to highlight this. My mother was the one who always styles my clothing. Sila, siya lagi yung style. So it's Carrie Delevingne styling. <laughs> She's so talented. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. She's so talented. Wow. You know, it's a village. And I nice. think that's one of my powerful assets that I have a mom and a dad that supports me. Yeah. just immensely supportive. When you have that love within you, I mean, what are you not to achieve if you have that love? from your mom and dad. So I think you, with your question, you advice in a firm is to just always do what's right. And I think that there is a way to achieve your dreams without stepping on other people. That's what they always say. Wow. Wow. And I really appreciate your mom because your mom is very, you know, uh, yeah. responsive, very responsive to my message. He, he actually yeah. sometimes calls me 
alam mo yung parang feeling close na ako sa tita, kay tita. <laughs> anyway, okay. Now, kisses. Um, I have another question. Kasi tignan yung mga kami ng question. I have to continue. Um, I just want to ask, kisses, could you tell us something that most people do not know about kisses yet? I think that most people do not know that I am a miracle baby. When I say a miracle baby, I was born out of eight pregnancies and I was the only one to survive. I'm an only child and I had a sister who died, unfortunately, but yes, I also am a miracle daughter because Whoa. when I was six years old, I had this virus called encephalitis and I had 5% chance to live, but I was able to survive and scan. And see, I, ha I, I, was, I came out of the hospital like I was brand new. I didn't have a scratch. And the doctor said that it was truly a miracle. And the case in the hospital, it has been researched on why I was able to survive. So I think I just want people to know that such an inspiring story actually for my mom and my dad. Wow, that's very inspiring story, kisses. No, and I wanna wish I can hug you right now. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> and now kisses as a Miss Universe candidate, there is always pressure, especially now that you are having a lot of challenges as well. How are you handling the pressure right now? Amir, especially that you are very experienced in pageants, I know that. Uh, all pageants really have this and this great pressure whenever you join but i think for me that just because pageants are full of pressure it doesn't mean that you also have to be pressured i think that you have a choice if there is one thing that separates men from animals it's that we have power over how we think we have power over what we want to feel because we are rational people and so I think that to all of us girls in the top 75, it's all about choosing what to let in. If you don't wow. want pressure to come in, you can choose not to let that in. And magiging wow. fun palalo yung journey without all those unnecessary pressure. Yeah, and I can see you're having fun right now because even answering your que answering questions, you're just enjoying. I can see that in your face, your aura is very good. You're really improving kisses from the moment I saw you on the Tito Boy Abonda interview. And now, so much improvement that you have. Give it up. Yes. And Jay, give it now. Thank you so much, Amir, for your question to kisses. Uh, yeah. uh -oh. And we move on now to uh, Edge Tenoria. Continue her question. Alam mo, tawag dito si Casey Snow, hindi lang pala siya katulad ko na pre just a pretty face, a mirror, J. Talagang may sense ng batang ito. Correct. Correct ka dyan. Correct. Bakit tinatawa, Amir? It's a pretty face. Hindi, kasi ano, nakaka-amaze. Kasi syempre nakikita natin si Casey as a celebrity, ganyan-ganyan, um, endorser, pero may sense at may laman itong uh, Casey's Delamine. And of course, back to uh, my question, mm -hmm. Tell us about the toughest part being Miss Universe Philips candidate. Aside dun sa, syempre, virtual tayo, um, online, yung, ano nga, online yung setup natin ngayon sa Miss Universe Philippines. Ano yung uh, toughest part na so far na encounter mo here in um, journey sa Miss Universe Philippines? I think the toughest, toughest part would have to be I'm, I'm so used to everything being in front of people and I communicate most effectively when I am in front of other people because I am that's me so I think that the challenge is for example in trainings I can't see my I can't really meet yet all my trainers um, but, but I met them in Manila but I think it's a challenge because I want to enjoy every single moment in this journey and sabi ko nga sobrang sayang na nangyayari to virtual all the trainings because pero I was just thinking thankful na lang din ako that there's internet connection 
sure that this is still all possible because of the internet, but that has to be the toughest part. And also, um, the toughest part will also have to be because of the lockdowns. We are very limited with how we prepare, but definitely it's still, as a whole, a very unique, I would say, the journey. And I'm just thankful for everything. Nice. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kisses, hey, ka pa rin ba? Sa mga, in, like, for example, um, the stage, sa in front of cameras, interviews, kinakabahan ka pa rin ba ang Kisses, Lela Well, Ed, if I may share to you, well, before I became, before I went into showbiz industry, I joined beauty pageants in Bicol. I was Miss Masbate 2016, and I was Miss Kaugma in Kapsur in 2016. And in all those, both of those, those pageants, before I came on stage, I was shaking. I was, I was like that. But when I, I went on stage, it's like everything floats away. And I don't know why, but I, to answer your question, definitely the nerves are absolutely in there. But pero yun din yung isa sa ma, ano eh, yun din yung isa sa masarap sa pagiramdam. Kasi, di ba, you can see the light if, if you don't have the dark. So, thankful din ako sa nerves because they remind me of what's happening, of why I should pressure this moment. So, definitely, I have nerves. A lot of them. Okay, guys, before we move to the next yes. question, of Ed, I'd just like to say, Ed, sorry, um, we are now currently top four to, uh, trending in Twitter. So, nag trending the number four na tayo in Twitter right now. Ay, Thank you God. to all kids universe yeah. who are watching right now. Sa lahat ng support ng kids. Thank you guys so much. Continue sharing this live. Okay, Edge, go. Yes, thank you. Iba, iba talaga, iba talaga ang kisses. Talaga nadamay pa tayo sa trending, di ba? So, <laughs> mm, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Alam mo yan? Oo, oh, oh. kisses, ano tayo? Ano naman tayo? Ano, um, today kasi medyo chill-chill lang yung mga question natin. So, ano yung um, beauty product na um, you could not live without? Beauty product. <laughs> You could not live without. Beauty product that I cannot live without. <laughs> um, siguro po blush on. Uh, I know people always ay, parang tayo, say that I para, like para <laughs> <laughs> I know that parang tayo, parang tayo. Kasi di ba pag tanghari, tapos parang uh -huh. yung mukha mo. <laughs> Ano po yun? Ito, oh. Yung sinabi mo? <laughs> yes. Edge, ah, yun. Kasi siya, para tayo ng glass here. on. May yung Prada. Uh -huh. Favorite mo din yung brush? Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi siyempre, yes, of course. Aside sa lipstick, para maging kissable, like kisses yung lips natin. Mm -hmm. Para tayo, flash on talaga yung favorite ko rin. And, anyway, may last question na kisses. No, bago tayo pumunta sa questions ni J Bart. Sige, go. Go kisses. Pasensya na kakalan ng kakalan ng technicalities kasi medyo delay lang. Medyo delay din ano. Go kisses. Go kisses. Pero definitely Amir. Go lang, go lang. Sinasabi sa akin ng trainer namin na number one, mascara. Number one, um eyebrows, this and that. Pero Ewan, sobrang favorite niya yung blush. Pero syempre, kung kaya naman sa pouch mo, isama lahat. Sama okay. Lahat. Wow. Edge, may singit ko lang, Edge. Pasingit lang ako ng isang question. All Since right. favorite niya daw yung uh -oh. blush on, I just wanna ask, what makes you blush? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I think, <laughs> I think what makes me blush, because I have never... I decided that I would never have a boyfriend yet. Mm -hmm. I would not be in a relationship yet. So I guess um, I blush when guys boldly in 
front of me tell me that they like me. Yeah. Sana all. Oh, sana all. <laughs> sana all na lang. Go <laughs> edge. Go edge. Your last question. All right, Kisses. All right, may, may last question. Mm-hmm. Pasensya na kisses kasi medyo nadidelay ata tayo ng ilang minuto or seconds bago mo matanggap ang aking uh, question. So, my last question. Mm-hmm. If, oh, oh, if someone is going to make her life into a movie, oh, oh, kung um, it ever maging uh, pelikula ang iyong life, sino yung gusto mong mag-portray as Kisses de la Vie? Okay, I would say that I I know the face of this girl, but I can't seem to remember her name. But naalala ko po this girl. I just love this girl so much. Yung nung nasa Big Brother ko ako na siya po yung nag-act as the girl na umiiyaka. She's a little girl. I think she's like eight years old right now. Oh my God! I just love this girl so much. I can't remember her name. Oh my God! <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. No problem. problem. <laughs> it's okay. Back it. Back it, Sha. She's so pretty. Huh? Back it, Dosha. Huh? Back it, Dosha. Back it, Sha. A child actress. She's so Sobre sweet, pretty. and I feel like <laughs> I feel like. She just gets me. Kahit baby lang siya. Mm, all right. Wow. Oh, oh. Thank you so much, Kisses, uh, for answering five questions from mine. So, Jay, back to you, Jay. Thank you so much, Edge Tenoria at Pageantology 101. All right. Thank you also, Kisses, for answering the questions. Uh, well, anyway, it's my turn. Um, I have a few questions lang naman for you. Okay, so let's start. Uh, before I start my question, let me congratulate you for making it to top 75. Ayan. Congratulations, dear. Okay, my first question for you is, my first question for you is, uh, how was your preparation for this, you know, top 50? My preparation, mm-hmm. I went to Manila po to train in Pasarela and you know, how to speak then for you know, the topics, uh, social issues, of course, it's so important. But um, I think it's more of your know, mental preparation, which has to come from you personally, that you have to prepare yourself. But that was a preparation that I have done years ago, because I know that at one point or another, I will definitely take on this job, this role. So, I would say I have been ready already for a long time, mentally prepared. So, I feel like some people tell me, Oh, okay ka lang ba? Yung basher, ganito, ganyan. This is the whole packet that I accepted. So, the moment I stepped foot, in this Miss Universe competition, I have already accepted that this is just a small price to pay for the whole thing that I want to achieve. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, another question for you. So, so since you have mentioned about the bashers and uh, we already know that uh, you've been uh, competing for the uh, you know local pageants and uh, I believe that this is your first national pageant that you have joined. And uh, given that you are one of the official candidates of Miss Universe Philippines, so I just I want to ask if how he says um, or Kirsten Daniel Delavin deals with the bashers. Oh, yeah. You know, Jay, I actually really like your question because you can't ignore the elephant in the room. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say, Jay, that it's a small price to pay for this whole role that I'm taking on. Because this mm-hmm. is a cost that's bigger than myself. It's not just about me. It's not all about me. 
the things that people say this if I have to endure all these kinds of things for the end result that I want to achieve, then definitely I am for it. Because you have to join first Miss Universe Philippines before you can be Miss Universe. You have to undergo all these things before because especially when you already have the role of Miss Universe, you are faced with world issues that's so much bigger than things about bikini more whatsoever that's so much bigger and so that actually prepares you for that role because it's a big role like i said the miss universe and you have to have the, you have to fill that shoes so it's a small price to pay you really have to undergo this before you can get there Ayan. Thank you. Another follow-up question for you. So since you have mentioned about you, you are a miracle, miracle daughter. So aside from that, what do you think is uh, your edge or the reason why you deserve to become the Miss Universe Philippines? You know, Jay, I think that you have a girls, the 100. Everybody is deserving. Everybody has something to bring to the table because everybody all has this uniqueness. And it's it's unfair to say that the uniqueness of one person is better than the other. But really, it's all about how much of yourself can you give? Because like I said, this competition is exciting, but it all boils down to the role of a Miss Universe. This is a very big shoe to fill. So your reign over here, what can you give in that one year to the world, to the universe rather? What can you give? So in my case, I know and I am certain that in my reign, I can give my whole self the whole of who I am in here. And I'm fully for that. And I am ready for that. So I think that is my edge that I have. Thank you. Ayan, galing. Wow. You know, the, Jay, uh, yeah. before, before you, you, you mentioned the next question, um, I saw some sincerity in your, your eyes cases, you know? You're so sincere with your words. I can say that. Yeah. Speak, yes. Speaking uh -huh. of sincerity, Amir, alam mo, nagbabasa ako ng comments sa Facebook page natin, no? Oo, may nag-comment doon na walang kaplastikan yung mga sagot ni Kises, which is true. Yeah. She's just being genuine, true to herself. You know, it comes from the heart, di ba? Alam mo, magaling kasi, nag-training kasi yan. Hi to Sir Jerry Diaz, who's watching right now. Wow. From Aces and Queens. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah, anyways, go, Jay. Sige, last question Jay, to sa'yo. Uh, Jay, Kisa. okay lang ba? Oh, sige. Oh, may tanong ka, si Yes? Oh, may add lang ako, no? Sige, um, sige, go. Siyempre, may mga, may mga group chat, group chat kayo with other candidates. So, sino yung mga ano mo, um, nakakausap mo na other candidates or medyo... Siyempre, mahirap ngayon, um, online lang yung, um, yung ano natin, yung communication. May mga uh, nakakachikahan ka rin ba na candidates natin? Or wala pa? Mm -mm. Okay. With regards to that, hindi ako mahilig mag-cellphone. So, sorry to everybody na palaging nagbe-message sa akin. Kahit yung mga family ko, tawag ako lang. I always video call and call. Nakakaya naman tawagan ko yung mga <laughs> candidates. But so far, yung pinaka nakakasama uh -oh. ko is yung mga kasama ko sa Aces and Queens. My family over sa there. Sa Aces? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sa Aces and Queens. But Correct. I have met them already once All right. when I went to Manila. Mm -hmm. I just look forward to meeting everybody. Mm -hmm. How exciting to have sisters. Ah, I okay. no sisters. Because I have no sisters. And brothers. It's just... Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you're the only girl. Your We're your new sisters right now. We uh -oh. are your new sisters right yes. now. Yes, you're sitting here. Correct. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> sis Edge, Sis J, Sis Amir, <laughs> Sis Amir. Oh, actually, this is this is the this is I know what you call kisses quintuhan with his sis sister. Jesus. Kisses. 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 Kasi alam mo pa nag-iisipan namin kung anong dapat magiging tawag sa usapang ito, no? Marami kaming sinabi. Quintuhan with titas of Manila. <laughs> Just kidding. Huwag naman titas. Lakas ba ka talaga? Lakas ba ka solte? Just want Uh, Actually, itong okay, Queen Tokhan natin, di ba? Parang Queen Tokhan, di ba? Oo, oh, Queen Tokhan. <laughs> okay, my question, Jay. What's the next segment, Jay? A last question muna ako. <laughs> Sige, last question for kisses. Yes. Ito, ano lang to. What was the cra- last crazy adventure you went on? Actually, last week lang. Oo, uh, ano yun? <laughs> yung nangyari kasi po, di ba, nasa Masbate ako. And I went to Manila. So, grabe yung experience ko going from Masbate to Manila. Because hindi pa ako pwedeng sumakay ng, um, ng airplane because sobrang Airp- um, I airplane. have very low, I have very low what we call this defense for the corona i medyo mahina po yung resistance ko so we had to travel by roro and by car so we traveled mm. for a total of 17 hours so yung nangyari po is mm-hmm. nung nakasakay na kami sa roro biglang grabe po yung alon As in, feeling ko po talaga nasa Titanic kami. Iniisip ko na yung mga <laughs> masasayang moments ko sa life. Because it was so scary. It was so scary. Riding in Roro. Yung, yung feeling na pupunta ka sa Manila para mag-photoshoot sa swimsuit. Pero bago mangyari yun, kailangan mo muna pagdaanan yung Titanic and ma-survive yun. Maranasan yung mga gano'n. <laughs> Ayan. So, parehas pala tayong na-experience. Kasi, I also came from province, oh, Leyte. So, before, nagroro lang din ako. So, I also experienced yung same with you, na malatitanic talaga, yung malakas yung alon. Well, Jay, mm-hmm. di ba pa kumaga doon na yung barko? Akala mo yung mag-iisip ka na ng happiest moments mo sa buhay. <laughs> True. Totoo yan. And Totoo yan. Minsan, naisip, naisip ko din na ano, tumalon na lang instead of mal- ano, lumunod. Uh-oh. Pero maganda po yung Roro and steal yung water. It's so beautiful to look at yung view. Pero pag umalo na, kakapit ka na lang talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Okay. All right. Nasa masbate ka pala ngayon, Kisses. Yes, I am. So, it happened to me twice. But the good thing is, the second time around, I was so tired. So, I was asleep. When I woke up, I told my dad, sabi ko, oh, wala pa ng alon. That's so great, walang alon. Sabi nila, tulog ka kasi. Sabi ko, oh, okay. <laughs> Ayun. At least hindi mo na, hindi mo na feel. Okay, let's, And let's move on to our next segment, which is the reading of comments from your fans and supporters, and as well as to our viewer, live viewers. Sige, let's have this one. What will? I'm very happy for you, Kristin Daniel. Wow. Hi, Susan, if you're watching right now. Hi, Susan. Plus, Kalang Jay. Jay, are you there? Yeah. From Lydell Pasqua. Love how passionate she is. Love you, kisses. Wow. Oh, hello. We have also here Abigail Gela. So proud of you, Queen. 
Wow. Ang dami mong, ayan, miles away. Hello, Team Kisses Hong Kong. Wow! May Hong Kong oh, din tama ka lang talaga, no? Sabi, sabi ko sa iyo, may Hong Kong eh, di ba? May Japan pang ako na basa eh. I am so wow. grateful to you for inviting me in this talk because on Facebook, everybody can watch and even people from Hong Kong, other parts mm -hmm. of the world. I want to say hi to yeah. the civils in Hong Kong. Yeah. Hi, Maria. We love you. Yes. Kisses from Maria. Wow. Hello. And this is also your fan from um, Kisses, mm -hmm. Kisses Universe would like to say hi to you. Kisses Universe, thank you for watching right now. Hello, Kisses. Universe. Kisses for universe. <laughs> uh, Alright. Nandito na ako. Nawala. Sorry guys, nawala ako sa ano, sa connection. So Shh, let's oh, move shout on. Shoutout mo daw kasi si Miss Maita. Tira na. Ano ba yun? I'm Miss Maita. Sige. Let's move on to Angel Kitara. Palanga kita loves kisses. Hello, Angel. Palangga taman ikaw. That's actually Ara. my husband, eh. Palangga. Wow. Love. Oh, love. May apo mahunda to. May Miss Universe Kisses Delavine. Apo? Wow. Miss Universe Kisses Delavine. Hi, Maya. Ang dami. Ang dami supporters. Ang dami. May Twitter pa tayo. My goodness. Hello. Let's pa. have from Teresa Gaung mm -hmm. Amolo. I love you, Kisses. Hi, Ay, kinala ko yun si Teresa. Kapit. And currently, Jay, singit ko lang, Jay, mga friends ko are watching right now. Okay. Uh, kisses, uh, kisses si, ano, nag-hi lang sa'yo, si Ed, uh, si Greg, okay. and si Ty. Greg, Ty, Ed, <laughs> mga friends ko nag-message sa akin right now. You look so pretty daw and beautiful. Good styling daw. Thank you. Keep it up. Ano po? Good styling daw. Good styling. Credits to Mommy Carrie the Lavin. Wow. Thank you, Amir, to your friends. Thank you. Amir, may singit ko lang speaking of styling, no? Oo. He says speaking of styling, sino po yung fashion icon mo? Definitely Gal Gadot. Wow. Wow. Ang galing. Because she's so... Wow. She loves... It's, it's not Israel. Ready, ready na sa Israel. It's... Yes. Oh, my God. I didn't think about that. Yes, Israel. Wow. Because she's just so happy about what she wears. Wow. Ready, ready na sa Israel ang ating kiss. Yes, she's just... Yeah. She loves... She loves... Ready for Israel daw. Okay. Ayan. Okay, sige, let's move okay. on. To okay, before we move on, again, a friend of mine messaged, congratulations, Kisses Raven, trending number two na tayo sa Twitter ngayon. Wow. Congratulations. Galing. Wow. Kilig, nakakilig, no? Thank you, guys. Madami niya naman tayo sa trending. Oo, nga eh. <laughs> Oo, baka naman. <laughs> And also, ayan, oh, i-greet muna natin ang ating uh, 3,415 live viewers. Wow. Galing. Sa ano lang yan, pageant trend lang yan. Yes, dalawa. dalawa. Galing, 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 galing. Ay. Pinagsama Sige, na yan, ang biga kong tunay. Oo. Oh, oh. First yes, time yan, ha? Grabe, ha? Grabe. Mm -hmm. O, oh, iba't iba ang hatak ang ni Kisses. Kisses de la Vie, uh, nalala ko yan, mga amigo kong tunay. Kaya... It's a team effort with the uh, sisters. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, AJ, let's move to the other segment, Jay. Are you still there? Ako mukhang iniwanan na ako ng mga kasama ko. <laughs> But anyway, okay. We, uh, hi, Angel Lay Alvarado. Relevant si Kisses kasi kamahal-mahal siya ng buong universe. Okay, now, Kisses, I... Actually, the next segment will be the Q and A coming from the fans. So we have uh, we have a lot of questions right now actually coming from fans. Pero we would like to say na hindi namin kaya lahat pasahin yung mga questions niyo because we only have like short of time. But anyway, I can read one question. He says, so here's a question from a friend of mine. I'll end up because I'm balikan. Okay. Anyway, so Edge, we move now to the audience for the viewers' question. Sa mga fans ni Kisses na nagtatanong, bago sa akin ko lang. Yes! Oh. Okay. Kisses, here's the first question. 
Here's the first question coming from a fan, from Oxen Films. What is the other cost, or what is the other advo what advocacy you advocate for, and why? Well, Amir, this is really also coming from how I was raised by my parents, because when I was growing up, my mother and father always told me that because they have accomplished, they have been accomplished people in their lives. They always reminded me that you have to work hard to succeed so that you can help other people. Because, Dibai, you know this saying, Amir, na sabi ni Lord, kung matulungan mo yung pinaka nangangailangan, parang siya na din yung tinulungan mo. So my mother and father always, parang halos every day, na rinunik ko yun from them. So I think I grew up with that mindset that definitely I would have to focus on the most vulnerable, the definitely the most poor sectors kasi yun yung pinaka nakakailangan ng help and i feel like that's my lifelong mission being a miracle baby wow who has a second chance to live definitely that has to be my lifelong mission because very I'm unique no grabe I'm amazing sorry. talaga amazing very talaga yung story uh, pieces na yan sobra you know your story is very amazing very unique Sobrang unique siya. Anyway, there's another question, Jay, from the Tama fans. Pang eight pregnancy, no? Uh -huh. Yes, eight pregnancy. Okay, there's another question coming from a friend of mine, Drew Francisco. Drew is asking you the question, how do you keep your mental health in check? Again, how do you keep your mental health in check? From Drew Francisco. You know, Amir, thank you for that question, Francisco. This goes with all of us. Because I'm sure you guys also have a huge following and you have to manage all these things. So I would say that just focus on your core. That's what I do. And Tito Jerry has always said this. And all right. He mm -hmm. also, I, if I recall correctly, that she has, he, he has told her that just listen to the opinions of those people who matter. And who are those people who matter? Your family. What can I lala yo? Your family mo, yung pinaka na mamahal sa yun. That's that's your core. Just listen to your inner voice. Kasi tandaan mo yan, Jay ha. Jay and your family daw. Your Jay and Edge. Their social media, right? And there are so many voices out here, and also that's good for open communication. Pero with all these voices, which would you listen to? So you need to listen to yourself and hold on that. Hold on to that with your dear life because if you forget your inner voice, then doon na pumapasok yung mga difficulties natin with navigating with our lives kasi we're so lost in the opinions of others. So that's how I keep my mental health in check. Just wow. holding on to Actually, it's very important right now. Yes, kisses. I agree with you, kisses, because it's really very important right now, especially we are in a pandemic situation. You know? So it's very important to check our mental health. Jay, may question pa ba yung mga fans na sa sayo, Jay? Uh, yes, meron dito from our Instagram account. May question yung friend ko. Wait lang ah. Ako muna, sis. Ako muna. Eto, from, <laughs> oh, go, 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 from Altea Marie. Ayan. Who is your role model when it comes to pageantry now? I think one of my biggest role models, because she's also a Masbatenya, is Bea Rose Santiago. Mm -hmm. It started when I was ah, okay, 15 all right. uh -oh. years old, 16 years old, because in my Miss Masbaten province pageant, in my Miss Kaugma pageant, Miss Bea Rose Santiago was the host for both of those events. And I was I met her personally and I was just really in awe as a Masbatenya of the the amazing thing that she did in, in the international stage. But of course I have so many friends who are beauty queens and I am honored na friends ko sila honestly. Like for example Ati Kylie. Sosa, whom I love so much. So, yeah, that's actually a tricky question, but 
the reason why I chose Miss Bea Rose is because na inspired lang talaga ako. She's also one of the biggest um, impacts in my pageantry. Kasi siya nga yung host for both of my pageants and Miss Masbate and Miss Oh my God, Miss <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, last na to. Ano daw? All right. Mga amiga, um, he says, uh, ah, my, my sister is watching right now and uh, a shout out daw to Wilma B. Okay. Donasco. Hi, Wilma B. Donasco. Kamusta ka? I hope you're yeah. in the Kasi nagpapashout out din yung friendship ko, si Benji Hieronimo. All right. I thought you friendship go to tell I'm Benji Heronimo. Ah, yes. Benji Heronimo. Yung friendship ko si Benji Heronimo, nagpapa shout out. <laughs> And of course, <laughs> alam, tanong siya, total naman um oo, oh, oh, may question siya. Uh, Siyempre, napansin niya na talaga napaka uh, you know, um brainy ng ating cases dahil din sa mga Q&A pag dating sa question and answers, no? So I think question na. Uh, it's this cliche uh, Q&A uh, question. Question from Miss Universe 1994, Casey Smithson. Oh, can you answer what is the essence of being a woman for Casey Smithson? I think that the essence of being a woman is that we are multi-dimensional women. You can be a mother. It's not anymore that the essence is just being a mother. You can be a mother. You can be someone, an owner of a company. You can be a CEO. You can be a lover. You can be a daughter. We are multidimensional, and that is the true essence of being a woman. Just being yourself and embracing what you want to achieve. That is the essence. Alam mo, what I love you about your answer, yes, it is because your answer is coming from your heart. Yung nanggaling talaga sa puso mo, yung hindi ka, hindi siya parang pageant party, hindi rehearsed. That's one thing I love okay. about you. Thank you. Kasi di ba po, Genuine. Uh, as, as kwentuhan bilang sisters, di ba po yung women can be anything nowadays. It's not just you're less of a woman because you're you don't have a child or things like that. We are multidimensional. Wow, I love your answer. And before we move to the next question, Jay and Edge, okay. I just want to greet your fans coming from Tokyo, Japan. At talagang nag-message pa sila sa IG ko. Ayan. Wow. <laughs> nag-message sila sa IG ko coming from Skyrocket. Sabi niya, pahilo po sa Kissables, Tokyo, Japan. Kissables, oh Tokyo, Japan. Thank you for watching right now. Salamat. So kisses. Yes. Tokyo, you know, Amir, ang daming Filipino na ang daming OFW sa Japan. Gusto ko lang i-highlight yun na sobrang, sobrang nice sila kasi I've been there before. So, wow. Hi, so, hi guys. Isabel is from Japan. Okay. Meron pa bang fan question tayo dyan, Jay? Edge? Actually, mer- ikaw, Edge, meron ba? Si yes. Actually, meron. Um, yung friendship ko, nag- nanonood siya ngayon ha. Yung friendship ko talaga ng tunay. Amin ka kong tunay na si Jimmy Ray Bayrante. <laughs> Oo. Actually, yes. Ano siya? Um, she's a trans woman, of course. And um, I just, she just wanna ask if you are in favor of uh, joining a uh, trans woman, joining a um, female pageant Miss like Miss Universe. You know, What's your thank you for thoughts about joining a trans woman? Especially, especially now that we have a lot of viewers, a lot of people need to hear this. I think that, of course, there are Catholic beliefs, and I am from a Catholic family. But also, I found that even if you practice religious beliefs, we do not have the right to make other people feel unsafe. So I think for me that trans women should feel safe to join whatever they decide. Kasi di ba, women are multidimensional. So for me, go for it. If it's what you want, go for it. And iwagay mo mo yung being who you are. So I think to all of the viewers right now, we need to have more openness, even even if iba yung beliefs natin, we have to 
make everybody feel welcome because life is too short and we are existing in this earth for a single amount of time very very small amount of time and we have to spend it embracing all kinds of people wow all right uh, therefore ayan, Jesus, is it, uh, Jesus, are you an ally of an lgbtq what so are you an ally of an lgbtq yes of course i am an ally of all kinds of people i think we need to remove the stigma that um we, we need not to single out lgbtq there they are still normal people it's just that they happen to have different we they happen to have different um preferences for who they love but we don't have to single we have, don't have to focus on that because they are so many things other than just being lgbtq they are talented they they have so much they are themselves and we need to focus on what they can do instead of i think for me just focusing on that they are lgbtq because they're so much more than that for me Wow, thank you for saying Kaling. that. Kaling. At dahil dyan, sobrang proud si Edge sa'yo. Correct. <laughs> oh, yung ano, oh, may nag-comment, no? Nakakaiyak daw yung mga, yung mga thoughts mo <coughs> sa comment natin, mga fans mo. Naiiyak sila, nakaka-touch daw. Mm-hmm. Grabe, nakaka-touch yes, sila. Sobra. Sabi ni Mel. Because okay. I... Meling mm-hmm. na ay. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So, so we move forward, no? Jay, tama ba? Okay. Uh, let's have... um. Ayun, last portion na tayo. And finally, a message to all of your fans out there. Jesus. I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all my supporters because I have to say it's been tough road because when you think of an artista, you think they would always work but those things are not the same for me because i have my own preferences of how i go about things and now you're probably in shock that i'm in in miss universe philippines but this is definitely i know and i am certain the path that i want to take the job that i want to take on and thank you for the support please always take care I know that it's so tough right now with everything that's happening. Even even non-artista have so many bashers in real life. You don't have to have an art you don't have to be an artista to have a basher. So I know you guys have all those things that is also going on for you. So please stay strong. Stay strong. Kaya natin to. So I am giving you all flying kisses and I am going to do my best. And calm down, Jay. Ayon. Okay. Uh, Jay, may pahabo lang ako na question for Kisses, no? Kisses, Sige. I just wanna know your definition. Okay, what is your definition of an empowered woman? I think really the definition of an empowered woman is you know who you are what you can do, what you can offer. But knowing who you are and what you can offer, you give. You give. You give yourself. You're not afraid to risk yourself, to put yourself out there in order to achieve what's God's purpose for you. I think that's what an empowered woman is and definitely reaching out to others who needs empowerment. Because you're, if you're an empowered woman, it's not enough to say that, oh, I'm empowered. You need to be able to look at another girl and say, girl, I can, and you can too. So sa lahat ng girls who are empowered, let's share the blessing to other girls. And guys. <laughs> gusto ko yung, ka- oh, gusto ko yung kalma, ka lang, kalma lang kayo. Uh, kalma lang kayo. <laughs> Kalma lang kayo. 
Kaya kumalma ka lang, Edge. Oo. Kalma lang, ha? Yes. <laughs> Ayun. Nahihirapan ako sa delay. Oh. Oh. Meron pa ba kayong mga follow-up questions, Jay and Edge? Follow-up questions? Still have follow-up questions? Ikaw sis, meron ka ba? <laughs> ang dami kasi, ang dami mga questions sa ating, sa ating social media. <laughs> We love the pieces. Yeah, actually, is, well, eh, this is talaga kung usap mo, gusto ko talaga magtanong na magtanong. <laughs> Kaso yung sister <laughs> namin ay isa sobrang delay. Ang dami, ang dami. Meron, meron, nagi, meron ano, sabi ni H, si, sana ma-extend daw yung live. <laughs> sana ma-extend yung live. Eh, alam, um, yeah, as much as we wanted to, pero si Kisa, si maraming commitment pa. Like, Correct. guys, after this, she has a lot of, ano pa, mga live pa, mga appearances pa siya in TV and everything. So, so marami siyang gagawin. So, as much as possible, gusto namin siyang, kung gusto nga pwede makasikan buong araw believe, na to. And I ito yung pinak- <laughs> Kasi <laughs> pag may time ka, chikahan din tayo sa IG. Sa IG ko. Oh, IG yes, ko. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oo. And, yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Pag free ka lang. Pag, hindi ka na masyadong busy. Ka, sabi mo nga, kalma lang. Kalma lang talaga. Ayan, sa mga fans ni Kisses, kalma lang kayo dyan. Kumalma lang kayo. <laughs> Ayan. Jay, meron pa ba ang iba sasabihin? Edge? Oo, oh, busy sila sa kanilang mga delay. <laughs> But Jesus, honestly, no, honestly speaking, I'm really, really, really happy. Ayun. 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 Jesus, I'm oh, really, really happy seeing you. Seeing you here right now. Seeing you as being part of the top 75 and hopefully make it to the top 50. I don't know kung ilan, paano ang cut. Top 50, top 30. Top 30, top 30, top 30. Top 30. Yeah. And hopefully Miss Universe Philippines. Yes. yes. And yeah, this is, you know, the there's one thing, yeah, there's always, this one thing that I'd like you to be reminded of. Kasi nagustuhan kita because you're so much kind and humble. Please, sana ganun ka pa rin hanggang kung ano man marating mo. Sana ganun pa rin yung kisses na makilala ko. Na sobrang humble lang, na sobrang simple lang, na sobrang bait, na sobrang ano lang, chill lang. And hopefully, you cannot forget us, J and Edge. Correct. When you're there. Uh-oh. I will not forget you guys. Okay. Alam mo, Amir, singit ko lang ah, kahit nag-delay tayo. Oo. Oh. Alam mo yung sabi mo nga na sobrang, actually, yung kilala mo siya as being humble talaga, ganyan-ganyan. Ang bait na bata. Alam, feeling ko kaya, isa siya sa mga rel, yung napapastin yung... Uh, pagiging relevant niya sa social media because of being humble and of course sa isa pagiging pretty face like me di ba so ayun so, hindi na napansin ko kaya sobrang uh, nag ano may nagpa-viral guys ka guys guys sobrang kinilig um, ko because as of this moment Ed sorry to interrupt you we're currently number one trending in Twitter ano wow ang galing ang galing talaga ng mga fans ni Kisses no sobrang thankful kami especially sa mga Kisses universe na sobrang supporters okay. dyan sa mga lahat-lahat na supporters na Kisses. Guys, sabi nga ni Kisses again, relax lang kayo. And oh, sobrang kal- thankful kami. Kalma lang, di ba? Kalma lang. Kalma lang. May final kalma question lang. ka ba ba, Edge? Ay, Ang Edge? No, no, so, delay eh. Sobrang delay. <laughs> ako, uh, ako, so, comment lang kay, ano, kay, kay Kisses. Ayun, talagang Um, di ba, yung team ngayon ng Miss Universe is in, hashtag inspire you. So talagang nakaka-inspire talaga yung story mo, dear. Sara sa lahat. Especially, hindi lang sa, ano, sa mga fans and supporters mo, but of course, to the universe as well. Di ba? Thank Galing. you for saying that. Mm-hmm. Who did you make up ngayon? He says. My makeup po. Mm-mm. I did my own makeup yes. today. Mm, galing. Sabi ko na nga eh. Comment natin yan. Oh, congrats. Sige. Ano, um, Mars Amir. Yes. So, Push are we okay now? now? So, oh, before, okay na. before, before, before oh, tayo mag-end ng live, cases, because this is busy, Again, I'd just like to say thank you to Tita. Actually, ang alam ko lang sa mom ni Kisses is Tita lang. Sorry, di ko masyado pa na-call yung name. <laughs> tita, thank you so much for for giving this opportunity, for allowing us, Kisses, to be with us today. And of course, to Aces and Queens. 
to Sir Jerry Diaz, to Sir Andre, to Mami Andre, rather, and to all the fans of Kisses from around the world, from Hong Kong, from Japan, from wherever you go, guys. Meron nila ako nabasa UAA. Thank you so much for, for all the support and love to Kisses. But before we end this, Kisses, we want to know, why should Kisses Lavin win Miss Universe Philippines? Ayan, minum siya. <laughs> Napanagok siya ng water. <laughs> Kisses, did you hear my question, right? Yes, I think that the job of a Miss Universe Philippines and a Miss Universe is something that all my life I have been ready for. And it's something that I will commit myself to. I will give myself to this cause that's bigger than myself. And I will prove to my co-Filipinos, Filipino, that I will represent the country with pride in the international stage. And now, in Miss Universe Philippines, I will represent Masbate with so much pride and joy because it is the essence of who I am also. I grew up here in Masbate and I'm so proud of my roots. And I should win Miss Universe because my heart is full of fondness. And I'm ready to take on this thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Kisses, meron ka pang gustong i-promote muna before we cut you off the stream. Meron kang gustong sabihin pa. Last words to all the, again, to your supporters. I would just like to take this time to really thank Invite. my supporters for everything that you do. And basta guys, take care of yourself and calma lang. Ayan. Okay, mag-ano na kayo. Calma lang. Extra, calma lang. Mag-extra na ako. Okay, once again. Ayan, nawala siya. Okay, ako na lang din. Okay, once again, guys, thank you so much for the time you give to us here. Sobrang thankful ako. Alam ko, busy ka. Maraming kang ginagawa. Maraming challenges na gusto mo pang gagawin because you are preparing right now for something bigger. So I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being with us today. And if ever you need us more, thank you so much, pa, yes. more chikahan pa with uh -oh. me, with Ezra and ano, Jay, let us know. Basta hopefully makapag-usap tayo sa IG, one-on-one. -on -one. I really want to talk more mo so much about you. I'm so excited seeing you. Edge is excited. We are so excited to see you. Sobrang thankful kami. And again, to Tita, thank you so much. Um, I know you're, alam mo, alam mo, Kisses, sobrang sabi ni Mamo, you are so strong right now. And I can see that, not just strong, but you are eventually having an aura na parang napakadaan. Wala ka masyadong extra baggages ako nakikita sa faces so, mo. Sobrang calm ka lang, so here, no? relax ka lang, sobrang chill ka lang. That's why I'm so thankful na iba yung kisses na nakita ko ngayon. Ito yung kisses na gusto ko makita. The moment I saw you in Tito Boy Abondas interview during the time you were guesting, I said sana makita ko yung kisses na sobrang chill, na sobrang relax, na sobrang calm, na happy lang yung smile na ganyan, yung gandang ganyan. At nakita ko siya ngayon. Kisses, Thank you, thank you so much. Good luck to all, to all, to all your journey to Miss Universe Philippines and hopefully Miss Universe. Thank you, Amir. So, oh, Israel, go for Israel na yan. Oh, Edge, ikaw may gusto kong sabihin, Edge? Medyo nadidelay na, so okay na kasi si CJ, nahirapan na ako eh. Nag-freeze na siya. Anyway, thank you so much, Edge. Sorry. And of course, uh, sa mga fans ni Keith, so wag kayo nga magsasawa nga suportahan si Kisses de Labin ng our Miss Universe Philippines mas bate and of course um, ayun, support lang and Kisses, syempre, um, we're praying for you we're here to support you all the way, Pageantology 101 Pageant and of course, the Missisology and thank you so much for giving us, a, actually first time mo mag live sa isang pageant pages, Pageantology and Pageant Trend. So, sobra na, sobra kaming kilig na kilig talaga. Thank you so much also, Amir, for bringing us kisses and also to of your course. mom. And uh, sabi mo nga, kalma lang, laban lang. Ayun. So, since hindi pa nawawala si, si, si Jay sa atin dito, at talagang nahihirapan na ata siya mag- hindi naman natin kaya <laughs> i-out si kisses, no? So, kisses, ano, uh, stay safe. <laughs> alam kong, alam kong marami kang gagawin pa. 
So stay safe always and do not forget to pray and sleep. Matulog ka din minsan, pahinga ka rin. <laughs> para hindi haggard. Oo. At never kita nakita naging haggard. Kira Pero, yeah, para lang mas lalong gumanda pa si Kisses. Because I see na parang blooming ka. Parang feeling ko, parang kadadalaga lang ni Kisses. So parang sobrang blooming niya ngayon. So yung dating eh. Sobrang ibang dating. You know, Kisses, I see. Yeah. Nung nakita kasi kita as an actress, as a celebrity, iba yung nakikita ko sa'yo eh. Super iba. Yung pa-cute lang doon. Pero ito iba. Ready to become a beauty queen. Yun yung nakikita ko sa'yo. Totoo ka dyan. Ang hira. So, uh, parang talagang pinag-aralan mo lahat ito. And hopefully, whatever your heart's desire, kung ano man yun, makuha mo yan, hopefully. Just believe. Just believe in yourself. And especially to your parents who are so very supportive and loving to you. Just continue doing what you love. Continue um, pursuing your dreams. Kung ano man yung mga pangarap mo sa buhay. And hopefully, I can see you again with Tito Boy. <laughs> hopefully. And yeah, with the rest of us here, Edge and Jay. Oo. Uh, ayun. So, ayun. But anyway, before I end this live, since hindi ko kayang i-remove si Kisses kasi hindi man ako yung host, <laughs> I just wanna say um, to all the viewers right now, guys, if you are aware of Boys Love series, I do please support me in my data series and Rainbow Prince. Um, tie the Nut also, please support Tie the Nut, Rainbow Prince, my story. So thank you. Actually, this is like part time acting. Ako eh. <laughs> I love to see that. Yeah, you will soon, hopefully. Ayon, so I really want to see. Um, Oh, hindi 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 natin ma-out si Kisses because we can remove her because Jay has the control. Tama ba ako? <laughs> yeah. Actually, so ang mangyayari na lang siguro, ang si Kisses na lang yung mag-leave. So kanya-kanya oh, okay. na lang leave. <laughs> Tama. Oh, Kisses can you do yourself? Sorry because Jay is having a technical difficulty right now. We don't want you to leave actually, but because you have a lot of priorities, a lot of things to do after this. So, kisses, see you soon. See you, see you, see you, see you soon. We love you, we love Bye, you. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank From you. From the bottom of my heart. Yes. Ayan, sis, so tayo na lang talaga naiwan dito. Yung ating Chris Wang, <laughs> so talagang ano. Sis, ano yung gusto mo, ano? Ano yung, sis, ano yung impression mo kay Kisses right now? Ano yung impression mo? Actually, Siyempre, kilala ko si Kisses as celebrity, no? Talagang, um, I mean, natin yung mga photos niya, mga, yung mga cliché na pretty face, ganyan, ganyan. Pero iba yung dating ni Kisses ngayon. Physically, feeling ko handang-handa na siya for Miss Universe Philippines, Amir. And uh, iba yung, ano rin eh, iba rin yung um, views, opinion. Sabi nga ng mga nagko-comment sa atin, ng ating mga fans ni Kisses, kapag nagsasalita si Kisses, talagang makikinig ka lang talaga. Talagang may laman. Hindi lang siya celebrity, pretty face, ganyan ganyan. Alam natin na pa-three times, whatever, na yung sinasabi sa kanya. Pero yung cases ngayon, nakita ko to the, um, this afternoon, iba, kalibre yung Miss Universe Philippines. Alam mo yon Amir. I agree. I agree. And, I really agree. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And kasi, Amir, kitang kita ko kasi yung appreciation mo kay cases. Alam mo yung, siyempre, na damandaman ko kasi yung pagka-cases mo talaga. Which is, oo nga, Amir, may, may ano, may orang Miss Universe Philippines ang batang ito. Hindi lang ito, celebrity, kilala natin, ganito, PBB winner, pero may, ano pala ito, beauty queen. Beauty queen ang bata. May yeah, orang yeah, beauty so queen, right. Amir. Kaya, damadama ko yung magiging fan mo kay Kises. Na, oh, Actually, ano, talagang, um, what, what I love about her is, um, Actually, any girls who are joining right now for Miss Universe Philippines is welcome to be interviewed. Kahit Actually, sino. It's so happened kasi na, ano, di ba, nag-invite niya tayo. Or nag-invite, nag-ask sila ng, I mean, nag-invite tayo kay mom niya, then they have responses. But nonetheless, Thank what I so like much. about her, yeah, what I like about her is being her genuine. Genuine. Genuine siya magsagot eh. Coming from her heart. I never see her answering questions na very cliche, na very pageant party. Mm -hmm na hindi Ito. rehearse. Mm. She answered it coming from her heart. That's what I like about Kisses. And you know, um, if you ask me if she's ready, I think she's ready. She I is. believe she's ready. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
And I then, never see her in our and then, then, I never see her in our live interview right now. Na nakasimangot siya. Never ko nakita sa kanyang facial expression yon. All the time, all the all the time. Habang sumasagot siya, parang nilala, I mean, parang kumakain ng masarap na pagkain. Yung parang ganoon. Totoo. Na ini-enjoy din lang yung mga lagi siyang, tanong. Lagi siya excited sa mga tanong sa Q&A natin. And that's why siguro kaya ano yung pagiging relevant? Andun pa rin hanggang ngayon. 2016 na nalo siya yeah. ng PBB. 2016 pa yun ha. And until now, sabi ko, bakit itong batang ito? Until now, ang dami-dami supporters. Iba talaga yung, I mean, hello, pag sinabing Twitter, laman talaga ng Twitter ang Kisses de la Vie, social media, ang daming Facebook groups na na-search ko, na na-discover ko kahapon. And sabi ko, iba yung dating. Iba yung dating ng artistang ito. Iba yung orang mm-hmm. kisses de la Vie from Masbate. And um, ayun, talagang, sabi mo nga, totoo yun, naramdaman ko na ready na siya as a Miss Universe Philippines. Talagang ano, hindi natin porque marami siyang fan, mara, malaking fan base na kaya siya nagsatap sa um, sa mga challenges. Pero iba rin talaga yung kisses de la Vie na ngayon as Miss Universe mas bate. Tama yeah, yes, here? yes. Oh, tama, tama. Actually, I'd, li- I'd like to add on that na sana let's give her a chance. She may be new to a national pageant, but let's give her a chance. Let's let let exactly. she just prove herself. Alam mo kasi I have read some lot of I have read the comments na she's new to the pageant. She looks like, you know, a little girl, parang ganun pa lang siya. Parang it's, um, it's, it's a good school in in terms uh, yeah. It's That's actually a very good. It's a very actually I think it as a very good critics. Okay yun eh for her mm-hmm. cases to improve. So I, I I think Kisa should accept that critics and let her prove herself to the people that she pero, deserves what she is going to right now. Yes, pero sa interview natin kanina, napaka-positive niya, no? Yung regarding sa mga yeah. bashing, na ganyan. Ang positive mm-hmm. ng outlook niya, ng kanyang um, insights, ng views na parang hindi siya apektado. Kung parang uh, ano siya, nag-enjoy lang siya, wala siyang napaka-positive na bata. Yung sa edad niya na yan. Correct, correct. Yung insights uh, niya talaga, uh, mimo, iba yung ano niya, outlook niya sa mga detractors. Maybe because Pero Edge, no? Na, siguro, siguro, siguro Edge, ano, it's because of how her parents raised her. Isa na rin siguro sa factor kung paano siya pinalaki ng mga pagkulang yeah. niya. Kaya ganyan klaseng bata si Kisses ngayon. And I really admire because she grew from a very young lady to a now of very first mm-hmm. years lady. But iba, iba yung hat up yung fierce na siya eh. Diba? Parang palaban talaga siya ngayon. Totoo. And I, I I hope the people will give her a chance to prove herself that she deserves a national title. All. All top 70 candidates give uh, let's give yeah. yung chance. Lahat ng mga candidates, candidates na, and, lahat ng candidates na mm-mm. may question pala ko ngayon. I may ano yes. pala ako. I, I, before, before we end this live, I'd like to say, ang galing ng batch na to, sobrang madaming madaming mga palaban, mga talagang sobrang maraming, alam mo yun, you deserving for a crown. Kaya kakaiba yung lapang ngayon sa Philippines. Iba yung kalibre ng candidates natin ngayon. Sobrang may hirapan yata mga judges natin ngayon. And I'd like to say quote this to Miss Universe Philippines Organization, Miss Universe Philippines Organization, for having this event despite of the pandemic, no? Talagang, yes. ano, nag nagano na na porsigin nila gawin ito and hopefully magsa successful sa finals night kasi talaga ang hirap ng yung pandemic na to mga iba-ibang restrictions mga ano ng mga of course uh, from government so yeah kudos also to Miss Universe organization for having this kind of ano uh, show right now alam mo kasi sa mga katulad natin edge dito tayo nagii-enjoy alam mo yun? Totoo. Happy <laughs> tayo may mga ganitong moment. And ito yung mga bagay na kailangan natin, especially that we are now in a pandemic situation. Kailangan natin ano, mm-hmm. magkaroon ng motivation, inspiration, ng happiness. And moments. of course, yung... Miss... Mm-mm. And of course, Miss Universe Philippines is empowering, is an organization empowering women. So sabi mo nga kanina, let's support top 75 candidates, lahat ng mga candidates ng for Miss Universe Philippines hanggang top 30. And of course, kung sino man yung kukronahan sa September 25th, ng, uh, which is yun yung ang schedule for the Miss Universe Philippines. Sabi mo nga, yun, empowering women eh. So, sabi mo nga, 
um, yung pandemic kasi sobrang nakaka-stress yung mga, I mean, sobrang stressful sa atin. At least kahit pa ano yung mga ganitong show na sa atin, like us, Amir, na ano mo yun, kahit pa paano kakaroon tayo ng hope and um, yung show na malapit sa puso natin, which is yung pageant. Yes, yeah. This is actually, yeah, the pageant kasi parang ano yan, parang boxing din sa atin eh. Na talagang ginudubog lagi ng mga tao, pinagkakaguluhan yan. Talagang it gives us a hope. That's why uh, I'm wishing Miss Universal Organization Philippines na sana ma, ano, maayos yung magiging show. Na talaga, I believe naman with their capacity. So talagang ang gusto ko lang mangyari is maging safe sila lagi para sa organization and also to the candidates itself. To all the candidates, good luck and sa inyo, girls. So, sobrang, Totoo sobrang yan. And ano, syempre, sa mga fans, o oh, oh, tigilan na natin masyado yung mga bashing. Sabi mo nga, let's give all candidates cases dahil of yun, the chance na ipakita sa atin yung uh, as cases or as etong kandidata to. So, isa na yung mga bashing-bashing na ganyan, mga abigaw kong tunay. Toto na, ayan na, nababalik na ang ating... Uh... Hello, guys! Ayan! Oo, humahaba na yung chikahan namin. Pero, Ed, siya, nakakaloka, nandiyan pa rin yung mga viewers natin. Salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Nandiyan pa rin po kayo. Salamat po. I'm really sorry for having Alam mo, a itong, technical okay, problems ha? with my stream yard. Walang problema. Walang problema. Tayo, um, awan. Ang um, isa akin lang naman <laughs> patakot lang naman. No? Sige, mo, sige. Amir, yes. itong alam mo yung 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 fans ni Kisses. Shem, yung alam mo na reflect yung aura ni Kisses as pagiging nice girl, yung, yung personality ni, sa mga fans niya. Alam mo yung wala kang bibihira yung mga sorry ha, pero yung bibihira talaga yung mga bastos sa fans ni. Napansin ko talaga. Yeah, yeah kung, sobrang sabi, makikita sobrang iba yung sa fans ni Kisses. Sobra. Ang babait ng mga oh, fans niya, actually. Mo, kissables. Hi, Kissables. If you're still watching right now. Kissables. Kisses Universe. Thank you. Kisses from Tokyo, from Japan. From Hong Kong. And all kisses, di ba? Totoo. Yun yung mga comments. Siyempre, ang babasa tayo ng mga comments. Iba yung fans. Hmm. Hindi siya yung mga barubal na. I mean... For example, may mga rito mga something na bad words. Ganyan. Hindi sa nakikipagsabahin sa mga... Iyon na napansin ko, ha? Kasi oh, iba, iba, yung, iba yung atake ng mga fans. Kaya siguro, iba rin And, yung, yung reflect, ano, yung nagre-reflect dun sa fans yung personality ni Kises. Oo oh, nga. Oh, Actually, nagulat nga ako kasi I was expecting maraming bashes, pero walang ganon. Kung makita, wala, wala iba yung mga fans ni Kises, no? siguro matured. And nadala ang niya, ano, nad- iba, iba yung basta, aura, nagulat ang, ako. Hindi ako sa nga. Ang gaan. Ang gaan, yes. The Alam word. Na, ang gaan ng mga fans ni Kises. Kises. Puro Kises. Correct. And walang halong puro political na comments, puro diba? Puro Mga fans. Yeah, kissables. Thank you, Skyrocket. Hello. Oh. Thank you, guys. If you are still watching oh, right now, I just, anyway. like to, oh, oh. I just like to promote muna my mm. boys love series, yes, Oxen Films YouTube channel. Yes, this uh, hope next start na yung shooting na may pero nagcut lang because of the lockdown. Guys, abangan yun po yung Tie the Knot, starring Nico ba- Badayos and Elvin De Chavez and also Rainbow Prince. Kilala nyo to. Kilala nyo si, ano, si Adrian and also si Erwin Kansana. Adrian Junisio and Erwin Kansana. So, nandyan po ako dyan sa mga Boys Love series ng My, ng My Story also with Miko Gallardo. Si Stato siya. Ngayon ko lang na-realize tatlo pala yun. This is under... Wow! Oh, this is under Oxen Films, no? Yeah, Oxen Films. So, guys, please support me on my Boys Love series, Rainbow Prince, My Story. Ito pala siya. So, it's okay, okay, My Story. My oh, story. Perfect. And also, Patay the Nut. Ayan, guys. Thank you. I am Miss Becky from Soji. Hello, guys. Ayan na, nag-sash na nga. Ayan, ayan. I miss Universe na rin. May nanalo na ako oh, ate. Oh, ayan na. Kasi miss Universe kong tunay na amiga. <laughs> Title na yan, CS. Yes. <laughs> Oo. Sila po yung mga kamadyong oh, natin ayan. dito. Anyway. Okay, second runner-up na anyway, lang ako, CS. Thank you so much, Amir. Hello. Yes. Uh, anyway, um, to all the may mga viewers pa rin kung tayo. Of course, thank you so much. 1,200 pa rin. Yung ating mga kissables. Yung ating mga kisses fans and um, pageantry fans, pageantology 101 and pageant trend fans. Of course, the misistology fans. And uh, thank you so much, Amir, for kisses na Levin, for mm-hmm. for this live interview sa, of course, kung dito dali sa'yo, 
wala tayong interview uh, for today. Of course. And Alam mo, sa totoo lang, sa mga... Oh. Mm-hmm. Sa totoo lang, sis, Miss Soji would glad to interview all the girls. All the girls. All the girls are welcome. I know. But, as, yeah, but as of now, we focus on to the finalists sa Miss Soji. So, guys, um, thank you also, Edge. Mm-hmm. And, ano, uh, amiga kong tunay, Jay Barbu, happy man sorry sure. sa'yo dyan. So, <laughs> thankful ako because hindi kayo humindi eh. Sobrang ang bilis niyong kausap. Sobrang ang bilis niyong kausap talaga. Kaya love na love ko kayong dalawa. Hello, Thank Amir. You. Ano Thank ka you, ba? Yes, oo. This is the Ano ba? Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Guys, follow niyo ako sa IG if you have IG. IG Miss Becky Sanchez. You can follow me there if you wanted to. Kasi more daw magchikahan pa kami yes. with cases. And also Edge. And also Jay Barbo. Follow them, guys. Uh, Mala niyo mag one-on-one kami interview uh-huh. with cases so in IG. Yes. And, I, and, I, I, and I, syempre, I um, kay, uh, 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 um, please follow our social media account, Pageantology 101 and Pageant Rent. And, and syempre sa mga updates, sa mga bagong photo release ni Kisses, Delavine and other candidates, um, syempre kami yung mga uh, first na nag-upload sa social media. Tama ba? Amiga kong tuna, J Barbo. Yes, tama. Oh, tama. Oh, correct. And guys, don't forget to follow me on my on, on my sabi ko sana on my journey. <laughs> Please don't forget to follow our page Mrs. Sol. Ano parang show mo talaga to? Yes, oh girl. Don't forget to follow to follow our page Mrs. Sology, Pageantology 101 in Pageant. Tira. Ayun. Oo. Oh, Alam mo yeah. na panong kanya sa mga ano sa delay. Parang, ano, sobrang delay like, kasi. Five minutes ata. Oo, oh, sobrang oh, delay. Nakaka- ang hirap makipagsabahin yun ang chikahan. Teka lang, alam kong meron pang anyway, lakad si Jay Barbo ngayon at meron pa siyang interview. So guys, <laughs> once again, Kissables, Kisses Universe, to all fans of cases around the world, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully guys, we'll have more live talks with Kisses soon and the rest of the candidates in Miss Universe Philippines organization thank you for um thank you Ace and queens thank you um sir jerry diaz thank you to the mom of kids thank, thank you, you so much Ed and jay thank you so much girls i really love you both you're welcome sis thank you bye guys, guys. So, oh bye bye <laughs> okay, thank you so much guys for tuning in and hanggang dito na lang aming live session and I hope na marami kayong natutunan regarding sa story uh, or inspiring story ni Kisas and as well as to us, uh, ba? Diba? Okay, so this has been Jay Barbo hosting the live interview with Queen I'm here, Kukan. I'm here. Yes, hi guys. Thank you so okay. much, guys. See you later kay Miss Universe Philippines, Nueva Ecija at 7 p.m. Bye, guys. Congrats. Uh, good go, luck go, to go. all the girls, all the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines. Good luck sa inyong lahat, girls. Yes, good luck. Okay. Hyper, sis, my last hyper, message hyper, ka. Oh, iba yung energy uh-huh. mo ngayon. <laughs> Ikaw, sis, may last message Wala ka. Wala mga message message. Nakapag-last yeah, message na one na with Amir, no? Ikaw na lang ang hindi pa. Okay. Ah, yun na, yun na yung <laughs> message ko. Ikaw na lang. Actually, oh, ikaw. Oh. Kasi ikaw yung kanina. Ay na lang. Oo, okay, sige. Last message ko. Oh, marami. Mm, sige, maraming maraming salamat sa mga supporters ni Kises for tuning in uh, sa aming pa-live session kay Kises. And uh, ayun, talagang na-impress kami sa inyo kasi very positive kayong mag-comment para sa inyong queen. Ayan. So I hope na i-continue yung ano, spread kindness and as well as tandaan na sinabi ni Kisses kalma lang. Oh, Ayun na. Always kalma, di ba? Yun ang talaga pinaka Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye.